Hey there, what are you doing? Hey, I'm just tying my shoelaces. Your shoelaces? Mm -hmm. Do you know that one of the knots you use for a shoelace is called a thumb knot? Wow, I did not know that. Hi, I'm Rashawn Gidwani. And I'm Zach. And welcome to the Urban Backyard. Today we shall be showing you how to tie the thumb knot. Let's go. Here we have us, a blue cotton and yard. Firstly, form a loop, as seen here. Mm -hmm. Put the running end through the loop, like this, Yeah. and tighten. Here you have it, a thumb knot. Wow, that was really simple. Yes, it's a knot that everyone uses every day, but may not know what it's called. Okay. For example, it's the starting knot for your shoelace. Oh. Okay, so you're telling me that if I tie these two pieces of string together, I get a thumb knot? That's right, Roshan. The thumb knot can also be used as a stopper and to tie up freight rope. However, thumb knot might be an easy knot to tie, but hard to release as shown. Uh, I have a better alternative. Okay, what's that? The better alternative will be the figure of eight knot. Let me show you how it's done. Form a loop, exactly like the thumb knot. Put the running end under the standing part, as shown. After which, pull the running end through the loop and mm -hmm. tighten it. And here we have it, a figure of eight knot. Oh, brilliant. Okay, but why would we use this knot? As I said, the knot would be easier to untie compared to the thumb knot. And it has the same uses, to tie freight rope and to be a stopper. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Zach. Today I've learned how to tie two knots. You're welcome. I'm Zach. Rashawn Gidwani. Join us next time on The Urban Backyard.